So here we start with a chain complex. So chain complex is nothing but a sequence of uh, homomorphism of abelian groups. So we just have a sequence of groups and uh, the property of a chain complex is that any two successive homomorphisms when they are composed with each other we get a zero map. So let us write this more precisely. So we have a sequence of homomorphisms of abelian groups and uh, we are going to write it like this we have cn plus 1 yeah, notice that the indices are decreasing we are going from n plus 1 all the way to 0 and these maps uh, keeping in keeping with the boundary maps we write as deltas and I said that the composition of two successive homomorphisms is zero and that is what I am writing here now this immediately implies that the image of delta n plus 1 is contained in the kernel of delta n and uh, that is what we are going to write again so just to mention that this is precisely what a chain complex means. So again rewriting the uh, any two successive homomorphisms have the composition as zero. So that nothing means nothing but this thing. Image of delta n plus one is contained in the kernel of delta n. And we want to find out how much by how much this image of delta n plus 1 differs from kernel of delta n. So to find the difference uh, we define the homology groups. It's kernel of delta n over image of delta n plus 1. So now I want to make some important remarks. So let me write this, write this down. This HN is called the nth homology group. This will become more clear as we do some computations. So let us do some uh, notation now. So elements of kernel of delta N are called cycles. elements of image of delta n plus 1 are called boundaries and uh, elements of this nth homology group hn are called homology classes so uh, you see that I have done nothing we have just uh, as in algebra we have taken cosets of image of delta n plus 1. So think of it as ring over its ideal. So two cycles in the same class are called homologous if their difference is the boundary. So again uh, the simplest thing I can think of its analog is uh, think of ring over its ideals R over I if you have done any abstract algebra. So then uh, yeah that is pretty much it. So uh, similarly because uh, there are cosets of image of delta n plus 1 two cycles so therefore their difference is nothing but the boundary. Again all these ideas will become clearer when we compute some examples pretty quick.